Hi, my name is Ron Dorn, and the purpose of this video is to hopefully provide a short overview of how to look at question four in stage B of the Hawaii lab. I'll start sharing the screen and then move to the PowerPoint uh, that I'm using to explain it. The essence of stage B is for you to explore the contrasts of the Hualalai volcano with respect to the rivers that are being incised into the volcano. The Hualalai volcano is about a million years old. So it's old enough for the processes of river incision to begin to occur. And there's a dramatic contrast between the east facing side and the west facing side of Kohala. It's the same age volcano, but on the east facing side, there's very deep river canyons. And on the west facing side, there are only a few very shallow rivers. And the way these uh, river valleys work is that it takes a copious amount of precipitation to create these flat floored, steep sided river valleys. What's happening is that the, the water, so much precipitation and extreme events pour off the shield volcano slope and down into these plunge basins and hurricane level moisture events create massive floods that erode the river valley. It's typically not the small rainfall events that carve, but the big ones that generate massive floods. And then the sidewalls are incredibly steep because it takes horrific rainfall events to create landsliding. And the only way you can get landsliding to occur in a tropical rainforest is to literally rip the roots out of the rock. And to get that happening in landslides takes a huge amount of precipitation. So you end up having very steep sidewalls because the vegetation holds the side slopes stable at very steep angles. And it really creates the need for landsliding to erode these what are called poly ridges. And it's a beautiful system to go explore. And in this question, what you're doing is a two part question. Part one is for you to look at the differences in the depth of the river valleys on these two different sides of the volcano, the east facing and the west facing. In particular, you're gonna be looking at the Honokoa Gulch on the west facing side, the rain shadow side, and then the Honokane Nui Valley on the rainier east facing sides. You're gonna be going to specific elevations and analyzing the depth and then looking at the precipitation differences. So you can pause this presentation. I don't need to read this for you. You can certainly read all the nature of the question that you're gonna get in Canvas. And it's, this is also presented very fully in the PDF file. These are the exact sort of stylistic questions, but there's a pool of questions, so you will probably not be getting this specific question. I have the arrows on the right to have you look very carefully at the contrasting. Here's two different choices. Notice that one choice has you look at depths that are the difference between 600 millimeters of precipitation and 3,700 millimeters of precipitation and 650 meters and 560 meters. So, the odds are that there's going to be big differences in the answers. So if you look at the answers, there's going to be drastic differences in the precipitation at different locations and the depth at different locations. So this is kind of a hint that you don't have to be particularly precise, that wherever your avatar is will be good enough for you to discriminate the correct answer. So how do you do this on the west side? Well, this is one location on the west side that you might go to. And this river valley is only the depth of that step. So the avatar, the arrow points to the little river valley and the avatar on the right is standing at 213 meters of elevation, 95 meters of elevation. You simply compare above and below in the different steps down below and you'll get the depth and you also have the rainfall comparison. And the, the orographic 
side, you practice this in stage zero, you're just going to be doing the same thing where you jump to the ridge line above and down in the deep valley below. And you simply compare the ridge line elevation with the deep valley elevation and look at the rainfall and you have the values for this question. So in this particular example, the avatar is standing above the valley that's about 180 meters deep with a rainfall of around 2150 millimeters of precipitation. That stage B question four, um, take your time and don't worry too much about the exact precision involved. Getting close is certainly good enough because where we stood on the avatar is gonna be a bit different from where you're standing and that, that's just great. So select the closest answer. I hope this was helpful.